Sony has recently registered new camera models in Asia, signaling exciting developments in its mirrorless lineup. These registrations have sparked speculation about upcoming releases, particularly the potential arrival of the Sony A7 V, A7S IV, and a second-generation FX3. In this analysis, we will break down the official filings, explore the rumored specifications, and discuss what these new cameras could mean for photographers and filmmakers alike. Recent filings in China and Indonesia suggest that Sony is preparing to unveil new E-mount cameras. The Chinese registration features dual-band Wi-Fi, a characteristic often found in high-end models, leading many to believe this could be the much-anticipated Sony A7 V. Based on Sony's past release cycles, an announcement for this model is likely to take place around March or April. Meanwhile, the Indonesian registration points to another E-mount camera manufactured in Thailand. Though official details remain undisclosed, rumors suggest that this could be the Sony A7S IV or even a second-generation FX3. This speculation has been fueled by industry leaks indicating Sony's interest in catering to both hybrid shooters and dedicated filmmakers with improved video-centric features. The Sony A7 V is expected to feature significant ergonomic improvements, drawing inspiration from the high-end A9 III. Leaks suggest a more substantial grip for better handling, along with a refined button layout that enhances usability. One of the most notable upgrades appears to be in the electronic viewfinder, which is rumored to jump from the previous 3.68 million dot resolution to an impressive 5.76 million dot OLED panel. This would provide a sharper, clearer view for photographers working in diverse lighting conditions. Additionally, the A75's body is said to feature enhanced weather sealing and improved heat dissipation, ensuring greater durability for outdoor and extended shooting sessions. The fully articulating touchscreen, a favorite among content creators, is expected to be retained. Interestingly, the A7S IV of May take a different approach in its design. Leaks suggest that Sony could be moving away from the premium 9.44 million dot electronic viewfinder found in the A7S III, opting instead for a 3.69 million dot panel. This potential downgrade has led to speculation about Sony's strategic positioning. Could this be an effort to make the A7S IV more affordable, or does Sony have new technology in store that would enhance refresh rates and motion handling? The FX3 II might represent an even more radical departure from its predecessor. Early rumors indicate that Sony could be merging the A7S and FX series into a more hybrid-friendly model. Some sources suggest a fanless design, eliminating the active cooling system found in the original FX3. If true, this would indicate a major shift in Sony's cinema camera philosophy, possibly making the FX3 II more compact and lightweight while still delivering professional-grade video capabilities. In terms of sensor technology, the A7 V could see a substantial resolution upgrade. Leaks point to a new 44-megapixel IMX 366K sensor, a notable increase from the current 33-megapixel offering. The processor is also expected to receive a major boost, with the latest Bion's XR chipset paired with a dedicated AI processing unit. Continuous shooting speeds vary in reports, with some suggesting a range of 10 frames per second while others claim it could reach an impressive 20 frames per second using a mechanical shutter. For the A7S IV, there are two competing sets of rumored specifications. One set suggests a 24-megapixel sensor capable of recording 4K at 60 frames per second with full-frame 6K oversampling. Another leak mentions a 19-megapixel stack sensor with a dual-layer transistor design, potentially enabling 6K recording at up to 120 frames per second. If true, this would make the A7S IV a formidable choice for filmmakers needing high-resolution, high-frame-rate footage in low-light conditions. The FX32's rumored specifications paint an intriguing picture. There are reports that it might feature a 12.9-megapixel global shutter sensor, capable of recording 4K at an astounding 180 frames per second. If Sony integrates a global shutter, it would eliminate rolling shutter artifacts, making the FX32 a top-tier choice for capturing fast-moving subjects in high-speed action. While resolution may seem modest compared to other models, the FX32's potential improvements in dynamic range and color science could make it one of the most compelling cinema cameras in its class. The A7 V is expected to include advanced AI-driven autofocus improvements, incorporating enhanced real-time subject tracking. Features like auto-framing, previously seen in the A7R5 and Sony ZV series, might make their way into this model. Additionally, in-body image stabilization is rumored to receive an upgrade, potentially increasing stability for handheld shooting. 
Sony is also reportedly refining its menu system, making it more touch-friendly and streamlined for professional users. For the A7S IV, reports suggest an impressive 8-stop image stabilization system, potentially combining mechanical and digital stabilization for superior steadiness. If true, this would significantly enhance handheld video recording, even in challenging conditions. The A7S IV might also introduce improved dual ISO performance, with a second base ISO of 25,600, an indication that Sony is doubling down on its low-light expertise. Some sources even hint at computational photography features powered by AI, similar to what we've seen in smartphone cameras but optimized for professional workflows. The FX3 II, on the other hand, may introduce a groundbreaking thermal management system, allowing for extended recording without the need for active cooling. Professional features such as built-in ND filters and improved audio interfaces have also been speculated. Though details remain scarce, some leaks indicate the possibility of AI-powered framing and tracking features, further enhancing its appeal to hybrid shooters. The Sony A7 V is widely expected to be the first among these models to hit the market. With strong indications pointing to an early 2025 release, industry insiders believe an official announcement could come as soon as March or April. Pricing is expected to remain competitive, with estimates hovering around $2,499. The A7S IV has more varied release date rumors. While some sources claim a July 2024 launch, more recent reports suggest that it might arrive in early 2025 instead. Pricing speculation ranges from $2,799 to $4,000, depending on whether Sony positions the camera as a direct successor to the A7S III or if it introduces new technology justifying a higher price point. As for the FX3 II, reports suggest that it could be released as early as March 2025. However, some insiders believe it could launch later in the year. If Sony does consolidate the A7S and FX lines, the FX3 II could see a pricing shift, but it is likely to remain close to its predecessor's $3,899 launch price. One of the biggest questions surrounding these upcoming releases is whether Sony will continue the A7S line. Some sources indicate that the A7S series might be phased out, with the FX3 II serving as a hybrid replacement for both the A7S III and FX3. From a business standpoint, consolidating two similar product lines could make sense, reducing internal competition while streamlining Sony's professional camera offerings. If the FX3 II does indeed incorporate features from both series, it could appeal to filmmakers and hybrid shooters alike. However, this remains one of the more speculative rumors. Other sources insist that the A7S IV will continue as a distinct model catering to videographers who need a dedicated low-light camera. Sony's recent camera registration suggests that major updates are coming to its mirrorless lineup in 2025. While the A7 V seems to be the most imminent release, the future of the A7S line remains uncertain. Whether we see separate A7S IV and FX3 II models or a hybrid camera that bridges the gap between them, one thing is clear, Sony is gearing up for an exciting year in professional photography and filmmaking. Which of these rumored cameras are you most excited about? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on Sony's latest releases.